In this video, we are going to learn the nine bacteria that cause infections of the lung. These are grouped into three distinct areas based on how they stain. The first group is the gram-negative bacilli. These stain pink. This group is down on the lower level because it is gram-negative. As a mnemonic image to help remember that this space contains the gram-negative bacilli, we have a basilisk. The basilisk is upside down to help remember that this room is for the gram-negative bacilli. Bacilli is the plural of bacillus. Next to the basilisk is a fishing rod, because bacilli are rod-shaped. This room contains four of the nine bacteria that cause infections of the lungs. The gram-negative bacilli is therefore the largest group. The next group is for gram-positive coxi. These stain purple. This room is in an elevated position to help remember that it is gram-positive. The cock on top of the room is a mnemonic for coxi which is the plural of coccus. In this case, the cock is right side up because the room is for gram-positive bacteria. Coxi are round in shape. So that's right, we have a cock and balls. There are only two bacteria in this group. The final group is comprised of three bacteria that do not gram stain. This group is located up on a platform of its own to help remember that it is different. A washing machine serves as a mnemonic to remind us that this zone is for bacteria that don't stain. So far, we have explored the main structure of this space. We have gram-negative bacilli, marked with the upside-down basilisk down here. We have the gram-positive coxi, marked with the cock up on this platform here. And then we have the bacteria that do not gram stain on this platform in the sky, marked with a washing machine. Let's now learn the bacteria in each of these spaces. Within the room for gram-negative bacilli, we have four bacteria. Each bacterium is named in two parts. The first part is the genus, and the second is the species. So we have four pairs of pedestals for the four bacteria in this room. The first is Haemophilus influenzae. We have here images of He-Man and the character Phyllis from The Office. Together, these mnemonics remind us of Haemophilus. Next, we have an image of an Instagram influencer. This influencer reminds us of influenzae. Next, we have Acinetobacter baumanniae. For the genus, we have two images again, a cinema and tobacco. Between these two images, we have Acinetobacter. For the species, we have a ship with an eye in the bow. In this case, we can think of the bowman as a lookout with keen eyes, baumanniae. The third bacterium is Legionella pneumophila. For the genus, we have a legionary soldier, and for the species, we have a pneumatic nail gun, filled with armor-piercing nails. The filling is a mnemonic hook for the phylla part of pneumophila. The fourth and final bacterium is Pseudomonas aeruginosa. To remember the genus, we have a fake picture of the Mona Lisa. The fact that it's fake helps us remember the pseudo part, and the Mona Lisa helps remember the monus part of Pseudomonas. For the species, we have an arugula dosa, that is, a dosa, a South Indian dish, made with arugula, to remind us of aruginosa. Now that we've gone through the mnemonics in this space, let's connect them together with a story. After defeating a basilisk, Heman gets married to Phyllis from the office. He's not happy in his marriage, though, and runs off with an Instagram influencer. At first, they're very happy and spend their time going to the cinema and smoking tobacco. But then He-Man gets called away on a mission and has to sail over the seas to fight. During the voyage, he takes the role of the bowman, serving as a lookout with his keen eyes. When they arrive, they find an army of legionary soldiers, all armed with pneumatic nail guns. The battle is fierce, but He-Man survives. However, there's no food left anywhere, and he is forced to steal a fake version of the Mona Lisa and to trade it for food. All he can get is a measly arugula dosa. Back home with Phyllis, he would have been much better fed. When you are trying to remember the four bacteria in this gram-negative bacilli room, just think to this room, these images, and this story. In our next room, we have the gram-positive coxi. In this space, we only have two bacteria. The first is Streptococcus pneumoniae. For the genus, we have a pole-dancing cock performing a striptease. The stripping gives us the strepto, and the cock gives us coccus. Since we've already created a mnemonic for pneumo part of pneumoniae, we can use something similar here, a pneumatic drill. 
The second bacterium is Staphylococcus aureus. We have a wizard staph for the staphylo part and the cock again for the coccus. For the species, we have the aurora borealis for aureus. Now let's connect these with a story. This is a story about a cock whose fortunes take an unexpected turn for the positive. Down on his luck, the cock has had to resort to stripping in order to make money. He strips at night, and during the day he works as a carpenter with his pneumatic drill. One night, he is pole dancing as usual for the other animals on the farm, but it turns out that the pole is actually a wizard staff. By spinning around the pole, he manages to summon the aurora borealis, which puts on an amazing show. He's paid so much for it, he can finally quit stripping. Our third and final space is for bacteria that do not gram stain. We have three. First, Mycobacterium tuberculosis. For the genus, we have a microphone and a backhoe. For the species, we have a bunch of tubers, carrots, and potatoes. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is an acid-fast bacterium. The image of the flash in his red suit reminds us that Mycobacterium tuberculosis is acid-fast. He's carrying an envelope to remind us of the thick cell envelope that makes this bacterium acid-fast. Next, we have Chlamydia pneumoniae. For the genus Chlamydia, we can use a clamshell, and we can again use the pneumatic drill for pneumoniae. Finally, we have Mycoplasma pneumoniae. For the genus, we have a microphone and a plasma screen TV for Mycoplasma. Once again, we have the pneumatic drill for pneumoniae. Chlamydia pneumoniae and Mycoplasma pneumoniae both lack a cell wall. These require special detection methods like fluorescence microscopy. For this reason, we have a transparent wall behind these bacteria. On top is a fluorescent light and a microscope. Let's tie these together with a story. The Flash's suit can't be stained, but he still has to wash it from time to time. He's gotten dirty working in the fields. He's using a voice-controlled backhoe to dig for tubers. After finishing on land, the backhoe is then brought to the sea and used to dig for clams, which are then opened with a pneumatic drill. The clams are then served at an open-air karaoke party. There are no walls. People sing into a microphone while reading the lyrics off a plasma screen TV. A prize of a new pneumatic drill is given to the best singer. Okay, let's recap one more time. We have three spaces. The upside-down basilisk for gram-negative bacilli. The right-side-up cock for gram-positive coxy. The washing machine for bacteria that do not gram-stain. In the gram-negative bacilli, we have He-Man, Phyllis, and the Instagram influencer for Hemophilus influenzae. We have the cinema and tobacco, and the ship and I, Acinetobacter baumanii. Next, we have the legionary soldiers armed with pneumatic nail guns for Legionella pneumophila. Finally, we have the fake Mona Lisa sold for an arugula dosa for Pseudomonas aruginosa. In the gram-positive coxy, we have the stripping cock who works as a carpenter during the day, Streptococcus pneumoniae. Then we have the wizard staff and the aurora borealis, Staphylococcus aureus. Up by the washing machine, we have the flash using the microphone-controlled backhoe to dig for tubers, Mycobacterium tuberculosis. We have digging for clams and opening them with a pneumatic drill, Chlamydia pneumoniae. Finally, we have the karaoke with the microphone and plasma TV, with the prize being a new pneumatic drill, Mycoplasma pneumoniae. Use this space these images, and these stories to help you retain and recall the nine bacteria that cause infections of the lungs. This memory palace is freely available to download from MonksVR's store. MonksVR is Linguisticator's software for building memory palaces in 3D and virtual reality. The software is available on Steam. For more information, please check the links in the description below, and be sure to head over to linguisticator.com for our full course in memory.